Many people who have experienced narcissistic abuse really struggle during the holidays. As a matter of fact, it might seem as though the holidays have lost any and all meaning. And if this is you, I'm here to tell you that it's not a bad thing. You are not crazy. It's not that the holidays have lost its meaning to you. It's more that you've never really assigned a meaning to the holidays, a meaning that's special to you. Listen, you don't want to go anywhere because in this message, I want to encourage you. I want to help you to understand how institutionalized tradition has led you throughout your life when it comes to the holidays, which is really what you're breaking away from. We're going to talk about what it looks like when you break away from the institutionalized tradition of the holidays. And last but not least, we're going to talk about how to get onto a path to where you can enjoy the holidays in a meaningful way for you. Let's go. My name is Kevin. This is The Royal Weed. Now, before I get deep into this message about the holidays, I want to let you know that I'm here to support you. For those of you who are spending the holidays alone, you don't have to. Down below in the description box, you'll find access for one-on-one -on -one appointments. I will be available on the holidays, on Thanksgiving Day, on Christmas Eve, on Christmas Day. If you need someone to talk to, head on down there, schedule some time with me. I'm available for you. Also, I do have a coaching program. My coaching program is live and in person each and every day. So if you're looking for a community of people to join where you can share in your healing journey and gain valuable insights from others, consider joining the Royal Week Coaching Program. Now, let's get into this, beginning with the real reason why it seems the holidays have lost its meaning to you, especially after you've experienced narcissistic abuse. Once again, as I said earlier, it's not that the holidays have lost any meaning. It's that you've never really even assigned a meaning. Well, what have the holidays been about if you haven't assigned a meaning? It's all about institutionalized tradition. Everybody, say this together with me. I want you to say this and so you can really wrap your mind around it. Institutionalized tradition. All right. Now, what does this mean? The institutionalized part means a set of rules or parameters that have been set around something that you're not even really able to think about without your thoughts, without your input. It's just the rules. It's the parameters of the game. It's institutionalized. This is where, this is the way it has to be. Institutionalized tradition. The tradition aspect of the holidays is exactly that. It's the traditions that we follow. Let me give you some examples. I'm going to take this beyond just toxic family dynamics and narcissistic parents, and I'm going to get into a narcissistic society here and how it's utilized institutionalized tradition to exploit you and to capitalize. For example, Santa Claus. Well, you want your kids to be aware that there's a Santa Claus, right? That's the magic of Christmas, right? Well, in order to do that, you better go buy some toys. Do you see how there's a capitalization off of exploiting you? You're paying while they're capitalizing institutionalized tradition. It's worse than, it's worse than you think, right? There are literally people capitalizing off of exploiting you during the holidays. Oh, but wait, but wait, there's more. There's more. I'm not just coming after Santa Claus and, 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 and the toy industry, which capitalizes greatly off of exploiting you, right? How about church? How about Western world Christianity? Capitalize. They set up Christmas Eve as this spectacular thing. Well, Christmas Eve is about baby Jesus. So you better go to church. And while you're there, be sure to throw in some money into the basket, right? Because we're doing this good thing. Capitalizing off of exploiting institutionalized tradition. Now, I'm not, it's, it doesn't end there. So we've got Santa Claus in the toy industry. We've got baby Jesus in the church industry. All right. But your family, your family capitalizes. Oh, every Christmas Eve, you got to come over for, for, Aunt JoJo's taco salad and, and mashed taters, they're capitalizing, elevating themselves and their importance and how great that family system is by exploiting you. You better just show up. You show up. 
and be in the pictures, right? They're, they're exploiting it. You have to spend time with us whether you like it or not, right? So there's three examples of exploiting, of people capitalizing, a narcissistic society, narcissism capitalizing off of exploiting using institutionalized tradition, taking full advantage of institutionalized tradition. For many of you, this has been your holiday seasons since you were a baby. You've known nothing else but to walk like a zombie, just going here, going there, buying the toys, going to church on Christmas Eve, whatever, lighting the candles, blah, 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 because of the institutionalized tradition of it. And so it's no wonder you reach this point where you're like, I don't know if the holidays have any meaning. It's because you've never assigned your own meaning. You've allowed the institutionalized tradition to create the meaning for you. And for many of you, it's created suffering experiences. It's filled you with anxiety and with stress. Now, let's talk about what it looks like when you break away from this institutionalized tradition. Oftentimes you need help doing this. And by the way, that's why I'm here. That's why I'm creating this video because I want to give you a healthy, balanced understanding of this. When I was going through this transition, much like people who experience narcissistic abuse do, I, I didn't have somebody like this talking with me in a, in a video in this type of a format. So I jumped to the extremes because I was caught up in the institutionalized tradition. I felt like I had to show up with this family even though I had the worst Christmas experience ever, by the way, with narcissistic in-laws, I was yelled at and berated by these people who were mad that I didn't show up for them. And I wasn't even asked to show up. It was just expected that I show up. Again, this gets into the institutionalized tradition. There's a lot of expectation there. Oh, well, you better buy toys for your kids. You better honor baby Jesus and go to church. Or you better show up for Aunt, uh, Aunt, Aunt JoJo's Taco salad, how dare you say no? That's the expectation part of it, right? So in my own personal story, I needed an extra reason not to. As I was processing the narcissistic abuse, this is a true story. I knew I didn't want to be a part of the holiday stuff, the shenanigans with the narcissistic people. I didn't want to show up for that family anymore. I was done. It was a miserable experience. There was no joy in it. And if the holidays are about joy, why was I wasting my time with those people? It was miserable. They didn't care about me. They didn't want me there. They expected me there because it was about them. Right? It was about them. It was about the, what I said earlier, which is exploiting people to capitalize. They were about their capitalization. Most narcissistic family dynamics are about capitalizing off of the holidays by exploiting you through institutionalized tradition. So what I did in my own personal experience, as I happened to, I believe it was divine because again, I didn't have someone like me to talk to. So by divine intervention, I ran smack dab into a messianic church. Now, for those of you who don't know what a messianic church congregation is, I know it sounds kind of weird, kind of creepy, messianic. No, no, no it, it's, it's not bad at all. What, what, all it is is a messianic congregation, a messianic church honors the ancient literature of the Bible. They take in the Old Testament. They're very much into the Hebraic roots of our faith in addition to the Christian aspect, which is something that I was never introduced into, but it came at the right time for me because when I got involved with the messianic congregation, suddenly they were able to put up this understanding how Christmas and Easter and Thanksgiving, it's not biblical. There's nothing in the ancient understanding or the ancient biblical perspective that honored Christmas or Thanksgiving. And suddenly I found this place where I'm like, ah, I don't have to be a part of it. Oh my gosh. There's this whole ancient text of the Bible, people close to God, they knew nothing about Christmas. Thanksgiving didn't exist. It means nothing as far as who I am as a person or my connection with God. So I needed that, but I took it to an extreme. I actually shut myself out of Christmas. I'm like, I'm not going to Christmas. Christmas is paganistic and blah, blah, blah. And, and Easter is 
is is witch worship or whatever. I, I got a little crazy with it, but in, but it afforded me the opportunity to cut myself off of feeling like I had to go along with what toxic family members or a toxic society was telling me to do. Suddenly, I had an, a reason and I was justified in not buying toys and allowing capitalism to win, right? I, suddenly, I was justified in not showing up to a toxic family dynamic that wanted to make me eat their taco salad. Suddenly, I was justified in not wanting to go to another candlelit Christmas Eve service. And I didn't have to feel like a Scrooge. I didn't have to feel like I was a mean person. I was honoring my new understanding of an ancient biblical perspective where these things didn't even exist. And I needed that. And so I shut holidays out for a while. Now, you don't need to go that far and shut them out. That's why I'm here talking to you. So you don't have to do what I did, right? But nonetheless, it was an important stage for me. And now for many of you, it's an important stage for you to be able to separate yourself from the institutionalized tradition of the holidays. Now, many of you might rebel against what I'm talking about. You might even be at war within yourself because you don't want narcissistic family members to ruin Christmas for you. But I challenge you, make sure you're not still trying to fight for something you don't want, which is institutionalized tradition. Now, I found myself there as well. Prior to meeting the Messianic congregation, help me, helping me change my view, open my mind a little bit, justifying what I always believed to be true. Prior to that, I used to force myself to go and be a part of these family systems. And I partook in the institutionalized tradition because I believed it was mine when it wasn't. And I used to say, oh, I'm not going to let a narcissist deter me. I'm going to go and I'm going to enjoy myself and I'm going to show those people love because that's blah, 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 blah. Like a big old sappy cry baby. It wasn't really me or what I wanted. I was at war within myself. I believe that the reason I wasn't enjoying the holidays was because I was allowing narcissistic people to, to get to me. And so I forced myself to continue never really creating holidays for me. Listen, with everything I've said, you should be able to now understand and accept and see why the holidays are such a stressful time for many people. Now, how do you break it and how do you move on with it? Well, now that you've allowed this idea to soak in what I've been talking about, the institutionalized tradition, that's all that needs to be broken. That's it. It's just the institutionalized tradition of it. The way to break it is to accept it. Accept that institutionalized tradition seeks to capitalize off of exploiting you. And that's all you have to break away from. And once you understand this, you can start to enjoy the holidays doing what you want to do. If this Christmas you want to fly to Hawaii, not buy any toys, not see an image of Santa Claus, not go to a candlelit Christmas Christian service, but instead... You want to dip your toes into the sand, sip a Mai Tai in front of the ocean. Why? Because you're on holiday. Now, you're going to find this interesting. Holiday, right? The word holiday in some places, some countries, is not associated with the Christmas that we call it, right? I think in, in the UK, I love it when they say, I'm going on a holiday. It simply means they're taking a break. They're taking vacation. In fact, there's a hotel called the Holiday Inn, right? It doesn't mean the Christmas Inn or the Thanksgiving Inn. It's the Vacation Inn. So another way for you to look at holidays, are you ready, is this. You've been working hard. You've worked hard all year. It's time to take a break, which means you don't have to associate with toxic family. That's not taking a break. You don't have to go and buy toys, but that's not taking a break. You don't have to go to a candlelit Jesus service. That's not taking a break. Take a break. Have a vacation. Use the holidays as an opportunity for you 
to surround yourself with the people who are most important to you, to you year round, by the way. Makes no sense to spend Christmas, Thanksgiving, holidays with people you don't see except for this one time a year out of expectation, out of institutionalized tradition. Why would you spend it with people like that? Why would you fly after five years of no contact with family members or two years? Why would you go and waste time with people so they can sit and look at you and judge who you are and what you're doing with your life? That, that, what is a holiday about that? Go break yourself and spend all your money buying toys for this and that. You don't have to do that. Make it a holiday. Make it a vacation. If you want to go and travel around and look at the lights, because there's a lot of beautiful lights on display throughout the cities, I've grown to love that. Right? I've loved the lights. I love traveling. I love to sip me some eggnog. Make the holidays your own. So to wrap this up, as I said, it's not that the holidays have lost its meaning it's that you have not yet assigned a meaning that means something to you and to your family and to the people that you love and want to spend time with. So I challenge you to do that. As I said before, I am here to support you. So for those of you who are even taking a break, spending time alone, you don't have to be completely alone. I am here to support you. If you want to talk deeper about these concepts, head on down there, schedule some time with me. I'd love to talk it out with you. Also, the Rowie Coaching Program is available for you. So head on down there. Get registered right now. I'll be back with more videos for you. And before I do go, I invite you to watch one of these videos right here. Also, I'm going to be posting a video this week on how narcissistic family dynamics exploit you during the holidays, how they capitalize off of the holidays at your expense. You don't want to miss that video either. All right. Till I'm back. Watch one of these videos. If you found this helpful, be sure to like and subscribe. And I'll be back with more videos for you right here on The Royal Way.